Doom. Doom, doom. Time to play the game. Boom, boom. Time to play the game. Boom, boom. Oh, yo, 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 guys. What's going on? It's your boy EJ Sparks from the Dragon Geeks channel back on my BS. Y'all know what time it is. I'm so excited to do this one right here. It is another episode of SH Fig Arts vs. Dragon Stars, and we are looking at the highly anticipated Super Saiyan 4 Goku from Dragon Ball GT. Oh my goodness, on the Tamashi pages, on the Bandai pages, on Instagram and everywhere else, I would always see people commenting, when are we going to get a Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Please re release a GT Goku. Where's our Super Saiyan 4 Goku? That is all you'd see flood in the comments. And guys, when you ask, you shall receive. We finally got it. Here he is. We're going to take a look at this bad boy, and we're going to put him up against Dragon Star Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which came out about two years ago now. So Dragon Stars is up on the game right now, you dig? So y'all know the deal, we're going to take a look at paint and detail, articulation, scaling them with other figures. We're going to talk about the pricing for both of these bad boys and see which one is better than the other and which is worth it over the other one, alright? So y'all know the deal, seatbelts on, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Alright guys, so jumping right into it, um, I'm going to start with the SH Fig Arts uh, Dragon Ball GT Goku because, you know, it's the brand new one that everyone's excited for. So let's go right ahead and take a look at his face. We'll start with his face, okay? So I definitely noticed some problems with this guy. I really did, but I want to talk about the good things first. So look at this detail on this man's face, yo. Like, check this out. That is anime accurate, you know? Like, no matter how you feel about GT, you cannot say that this is not one of the most badass designs you have ever seen. Like, this is literally one of my favorite Super Saiyan forms. And I don't even like GT like that, let me tell y'all. But, anyway, back on topic, look at the detail on his face. Like, for one, we got the lines and the details in his face that look very, very cool. Um, we got the lines underneath his eyes, and then we have the red going around the eyes. Like, that is so well done. And the way his pupils are done, the way his eyes are done, it's so accurate to the anime. And of course, he's got like the crazy long hair. There's the dark black hair just going back to the, you know, Saiyan roots. Love how that looks on there. Um, of course, the ears look good. Only thing I don't really like, uh, for this face particular, okay, so not the other faces, but this one. I feel like the frowny face on there, the one that comes on him on the package, I feel like it's a little bit too, too deep. I don't know how to explain it. Like, he looks a little bit goofy. Like, the way that it's, like, going down, I just feel like they could have taken some of the line work out of there. But that's just me. Um, we go down to the body, like, the pecs and the core, everything looks good. This fur looks freaking amazing. Like, I love the color of the fur that they got on here. That looks great. Um, there's not a, there's not really shading going on in the fur, which I don't really mind. I think the, the figure looks well enough without it. But, of course, you know that there's some, uh major figureheads that are going to find an issue with that so that's kind of personal preference I think it looks great without it so like you see the back on there as well looks good um, we go down to the belt belt looks good standard belt then we got the pants going on right here the pants look really cool and this is the uh, the the 3.0 body that's what I'm calling it it's like the new body that they got going on which we'll talk about in a little bit here but we got some shading going on in the pants right here as well nothing like super heavy but the pants look really good. Then we have the ankle support right here. Looks good, it's a little bit of shading on there. And of course we got the boots with a little bit of the gray on the bottom. So it looks really cool. Let's take a look at this tail back here, guys. Taking a look at the tail. Um, this thing is awesome. Um, and it plugs in really snug, which is a good thing because it's not gonna pop off super easily. Like some of the other accessories, like uh, with Say a Man's Cape, that thing pops off super easy. So I like that you have to kind of force it in there, because that means it's going to stay. So um, just off the look, oh, and of course the, the wristbands, they are a slightly different color from the belt and the ankle and the ankle supports. I'm going to have to double check how that looks in the anime, because I know on the Dragon Stars one, it's all blue right here. But it's not perfect, but I do like how that looks, okay? So, um, my only gripe about how he looks for, like, uh, detail and whatnot, for paint and detail, is just that, that frowny face on this particular face. I think everything else looks good. I know that there's a bit of a lack of shading, but like I said, I think the figure looks good enough without it that it doesn't necessarily need it to look super good, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and give that, like, a 9 out of 10. Um, if you guys are really looking for the shading, probably give it an 8 out of 10. Um, jumping right into Dragon Stars. So, this figure right here is one that, like, many hardcore figure collectors have appreciated because 
This guy came out in 2019. Okay, so Dragon Stars released this guy a whole two years before SH Figure Arts finally released this one. So I'm sure that a bunch of you have this guy in your collection already because you really wanted a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now let's take a look at this guy. So we look at his face right here and we got the red lining underneath there and the eyes look really good. That stern serious face looks great. And if there's one thing that Dragon Stars did better in my opinion, it's the frowny face. Like it's not super deep, it's just the line right there. It doesn't look as goofy in my opinion. So when we put them right next to each other side by side, you know, maybe it is just me. Like this one definitely does look a little bit more detailed of course with all the line work. But I just like how the mouth looks on the Dragon Stars one a little bit better. Okay? So, uh, we got the long black hair, spiky black hair. I like how this one's kind of going more, you know, sticking out this way. That one's going that way. Um, I think the hair looks great. I have no complaints there. Um, it's Dragon Stars. You get what you pay for. So there's like zero shading anywhere. But the fur on this guy looks very good. It looks so good in my opinion. And it's a different shade, of course. Like... This one's like more of like a like a pinkish color and this one's more of like a you know burgundy or like a maroon color kind of darker and I don't think any of those are incorrect depending on where you're looking at them in the light so if this one's like powering up or he's in the light this one's more accurate if this one's in the dark this one's more accurate so no complaints about that one um, the wristbands different color they got that solid blue look on there um, the belt is like a hard like navy blue color on there Let's take a look at the tail back here. The tail looks great on this one too. It's not articulated, like it does move, like right here. Sorry, I'm out of frame, guys. It does move right here, which I think that's fine for what it is. But look at the back detail, guys. The back looks really good. Like they got the fur on there, they got the back muscles. Lats looking super solid. Then, of course, you just got your standard pants for Dragon Stars. Looks about the same. And I think the ankle supports look good. Boots look good, they look a little bit on the big side, but that's okay because this figure is a little bit misproportioned when it comes to like the shoulders and the arms and everything. But for what it is, for Dragon Stars, I actually do like how this guy looks. So I'm going to go and give him an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, I know, pretty high rating, right? But I just think, you know, if the body portions were a little, uh, proportions, excuse me, were a little bit better, he would get a higher rating. But we're going to jump right into articulation real quick. So I'm jumping back to SH Fig Arts, so a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, maybe this one is just my figure, so um, do not think I'm saying this is going to be all figures because some of them are just, it just kind of happens. Uh, the face on mine, the face and the hair right here is like really loose, so I know that it needs to pop off so you can switch the faces, but like I had to like pull it off and like re-put it on there because it was like really loose or whatever. But Anyway, uh, the hair is the first thing I noticed that was articulated, and I like that. You can do all kinds of cool posing. It goes in right here. Oops, it got stuck right there in the peck. Yeah, it goes like in right there. It kind of goes out this way, and it's even in the back here. This part is like articulated, so that's pretty cool. Loving the, the ball pegs on there to make the hair move. Um, the head's on a ball peg. Um, looks to the side a little bit looks down doesn't really look up it looks up a bit but because of how big the hair is it doesn't really allow it to do much but that's pretty cool um, we got but uh, butterfly joints over here so can bring his arms like this far out in front and we got the paint right in there heck yeah guys heck yeah I know on some of the figures they'll still have this like the complete color of the skin so I'm liking how they did the did the fur color right in there so that looks good so that uh, butterfly joint does allow him to kind of hug himself or cross his arms. Looks really good. We got that bicep swivel going on here. And of course we got the double jointed elbow. Looks fantastic. Got that wrist moving right there. That is on a ball peg, nice and easy. Um, we got the, ooh, I haven't played with the torso that much. Ab crunch isn't too much going on. You can't really lean over that far, leans back about that much, you don't want to force it because you don't want to break it of course. Um, we got a little bit of turn in the hips right there. And uh, let's check out this uh, this new body, this new body right here. So for the lower, kicks up this this high, that's the front kicks right there. Side kicks, uh, there we go, yeah look at that, it can do side kicks. I am liking this new body because I know on the 2.0 you can't really do side kicks with certain figures. Um, the knees, we got the double joints right there. 
these look really good. They're working on making those look better so it's not like a whole lot of gapping. So I like what they got going on in there. And of course we got this turn right in here. It's like a double. It moves in there, moves right there. Lots of points of articulation in the legs. I'm liking it. We turn this around to the tail. Um, the tail is on that ball peg as well. So not only does it move up and down this way, you can kind of turn it. It goes up, goes down, side to side. Looks really good. Problem is he can't do back kicks because they gave him cheeks. Yeah, Goku got cake. So can't really do any back kicks right there, unfortunately. So if you guys are looking to have him do that, that's not going to work out. Anyway, moving on, we got a tiny little ankle rocker going on down there. Double jointed toes. Looks real good. So the articulation for this guy, pretty spot on except the fact that you can't make him do back kicks. Oh yeah, and the belt moves, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah. So he can't really do back kicks and the head can't move all that well because of the hair. But what do you expect when his hair is that crazy? So for this one, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give his articulation... Uh, let's go 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. But of course, there's always room for improvement. Taking a look at Dragon Star's articulation now. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me let me backtrack real quick, real quick. Let me come back to SH Fig Arts because I noticed this. This is another thing that could be exclusive to my figure. So, um, this is the knee that I bent right here. Knee looks really good. It can bend pretty easily. This one is kind of on the stiff side. There we go. So, like, you kind of have to force it but you really want to be careful because you don't want to like break it or anything but, like yeah this one boom moves like nothing this one kind of kind of on the stiff side so that's one of those unfortunate things that once again guys it could be exclusive to my figure um you guys can let me know if you have this figure if you've had this issue before if not then it could just be could just be mine now moving on like i was saying sorry about that back to the uh dragon stars um the articulation you guys know this is not. Oh, my camera's not focusing. Focus, focus, focus. All right, that's a little better. Sorry about that. So um, we got the ball peg for the head there. So he looks down pretty good, actually. Look how far he looks down right there. He just can't look up at all. He can just look straight or down. That's about it. Looks side to side a little bit there. Hair is not really articulated like it is on SH Fig Arts, but it does move a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Uh, no butterfly joint, no ab crunch. But we got a lot of mobility going on in here. So he can still kind of cross his arms or hug himself just a little bit. It doesn't look as good, but you know, we can get it done. Gets the job done. Uh, we got that bicep swivel right here. Double jointed elbow right here. And wrist is on that ball peg right there, looking real good. Waist, we can move that just a little bit side to side. Talked about the tail articulation a little bit. It goes just like this side to side. Can't really move it up or down. But it does get the job done. We got single jointed knees on here. It is Dragon Stars. Kicks up about this high. Side kicks about this high. And little ankle rocker, no double jointed toe. Um, problem is, this one, its legs are really loose. You see it going on right there. And this one, once again, it could just be mine. I have bad luck with some of these guys. And this one is brand new. I literally received this one in the mail along with this one just two days ago just so I could do this review so it's not like it's an old toy that I've had for a while so this one's legs are like really loose like could just be mine but that is kinda of docking points so sometimes I wish that Dragon Stars could do a little bit more and again I get that you get what you pay for but it would be cool to like get like ab crunch or something in there so for that one I'm gonna go and give his articulation a 7 out of 10 and we're gonna go ahead and move on to accessories Alright guys, so this Super Saiyan 4 Goku's accessories are beautifully done. Take a look at these faces we got here guys. Like, this one over here is probably my favorite. This one, this yelling face over here. Like, the detail still looks like super duper spot on over here. And the teeth, the tongue, everything's just done so well. That's the one I'm probably going to be like keeping him in when it comes to the pose. Then we got this one over here, the gritted teeth face. And he's kind of looking off to the left side. You're right, my left. Um, and it looks really good. Love the gritted teeth face on here. And of course we can't have a Super Saiyan 4 face without a cocky little smirk on there. Love how that one looks as well. I think all these faces look better than the one that came on them on the package. But they're all just so well done. Like details are spot on. 10 out of 10. Let's take a look at the hands. Cause somebody about to catch these Goku hands. So we got the instant transmission hands right here. Looks great. Um, we have the Kamehameha effect hands with the pegs that go in the ball. 
in that suite or what? That's like a totally new thing that they're doing here. Um, we got his uh, fighting pose hands, you know, the iconic Goku fighting stance. Then we got some open hands over here, so like for more Ki Blast or Kamehameha, just without the pegs. Then we have some completely open hands here. So he comes with a lot of different hands, guys. Like, literally, he comes with like five different pair of hands, three different faces, and of course the uh, brand new effect, brand new sculpt for the Kamehameha right here. Can't wait to play with that and see how that looks. Different color and everything. So guys, his accessories are perfect. Only other thing he could come with that would make him even better would be a stand. I am not going to nitpick on that. So, 10 out of 10. Definitely. And of course, looking at Dragon Star's accessories, we just have the hands. Usually it's just one other pair of hands with the open hands. And we also got the instant transmission hands here. Um, and this one does not come with the Build-A-Figure piece. Because I think this was the wave that they actually stopped doing the Build-A-Figures. Um, so it's nothing that we don't expect, but one thing I wish they would have done, so like when we look at this like hand accessory piece and we compare it to like the SH figure arts one of them over here, like look it still has like the pink fur on there, so I wish that they would have done that with this, um, but no it's just a regular hand, so you know, whatever, I guess 7 out of 10 because you don't really expect anything else. Um, I guess the tail counts as an accessory too maybe, but let's go ahead and move on and compare these guys with other figures. Alright guys, holy crap, I was just trying to change out this guy's face right now, and that was a hassle and a half, like, if it took any longer I was going to put it on video with how much I was struggling to change his freaking face, that was ridiculous. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start comparing these guys, so, they don't have another GT line, or they don't have any other GT figures for SH Figure Arts, I know the Dragon Stars has Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which I do not have. So I'm just going to compare a couple of Gokus here, so I'm going to slide this guy off to the side for now. And um, I'm going to compare, we have Ultra Instinct Omen Goku right here, next to Super Saiyan 4. Um, they're still about the same height, I guess the hair makes Omen Goku a little taller, not by much though. Um, then we have uh, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku right here, this one actually looks shorter than this Goku, interesting. But they look really cool. And then we have uh, Ultimate Gohan right here, since he did still sport this gi in uh, Dragon Ball GT at the very, very end of the freaking series. But, um, yeah, guys. Uh, so, a couple things. For one, with this Goku coming out, I mean, which is your favorite Goku now? These guys were very popular Goku figures when they came out last year. Um, so, tell me. Is the Super Saiyan 4 your new favorite, or are we still rocking with the Omen, or what? And um, one more thing I want to talk about is uh, the 3.0 body, for those who do not know. So, like, the original body, um, I got the Ultimate Gohan right here. So, um, you look how this body is kind of set up right here. Look at the knee joints, how they're different. Like, this is how the original body looks, and everybody was just dying for, like, you know, an upgrade for that body mold. And, of course... 2.0 body is when we got like the hips, the hip plates in here, um, the crotch area was actually skinnier, got a little bit more motion, the knee joints look different, and now with this newer body on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, this one is probably the best, uh, best for the lower body that I've seen, like the front kicks are perfect, the side kicks come out perfect, and the knee joints look very good, so that's very awesome, like the only thing is you can't really do back kicks. Which, that's not like a huge gripe, but it is something that is kind of problematic, okay? And, um, let me go and pull these guys off the, off the, off the screen here. So we got a Dragon Stars Goku here. So, he's about the same height, maybe slightly... T no, 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 I'm sorry. He is about uh, a few centimeters taller than this Goku. Nothing like super duper crazy, but he definitely is a little bit taller. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and come up with a final verdict for these guys. Um, so, here's the thing. Both of these figures look incredible. Um, they are both problematic in their own way as well. So, I will say this. Uh, right now, when we're talking about pricing, Dragon Star's uh, Goku Super Saiyan 4, he's going anywhere from like $35 to close to $50.00. I think the most expensive one I've seen was going for like $44, $45, something like that. But after taxes, you know, you could be looking at a solid $50. However, this Goku right here for SH Figure Arts 
is currently going for anywhere from like 90 to like $115. So it really all depends on uh, where you get this guy from. And here's my opinion. The SH Figure Arts Goku does look a lot better, so I'm going to go ahead and give him the victory, okay? So, if you're willing to pay $50 for the Dragon Stars Super Saiyan 4 Goku, then you should go ahead and spend the extra $40, $45 for the SH Figure Arts. It looks a lot better, it comes with a lot more accessories, and I just think you're going to get more bang for your buck when it comes to that. However, I still give Dragon Stars credit and props because... They come out with these figures a lot quicker than SH Figures does, you know? So, I mean, we got this guy in 2019. So he's one of those figures for Dragon Stars that are forever goaded, because he was like one of the only, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gokus that we had. And this one's coming out right now, so now people are running out to get this guy to replace this guy. But you gotta show appreciation to having him in your set while we didn't have one for SH Figures. It was the same thing with a uh, Final Form Cooler. You know, uh, Dragon Stars jumped on that way before SH Figure Arts did as well. So you got to give uh, credit where credit is due when it comes to Dragon Stars. But as for who wins, I definitely say SH Figure Arts wins. But if you did want to purchase the Dragon Stars figure, he does not look bad in your collection. So if you want to save a few dollars, go ahead and rock with him. But if you want the absolute best, go ahead and rock with SH Figure Arts. Okay? All right, guys, that's that. That about does it for today. Um, I'm glad that I finally got to review this one, so leave a comment down below, give me your opinion, and of course I'm still a small growing channel. Thank you guys so much for your love and support for those who have subscribed, comment on the videos, and watch my content, okay? So just uh, be on the lookout for more figure reviews and versus battles coming up soon, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye -bye. Dance down this winding road, where light and shadow and twine to take hold. Of the thoughts of the one left far behind Know that sometimes I want to turn around And see the things that I've passed on the journey But know with love on